The main theme underlying all the stories in Dubliners is that of paralysis. The inhabitants of Dublin are victims of a spiritual paralysis which limits their lives and renders them incapable of making decisions and so live fully. Evelyn is one of the protagonists from the teenage part, the teenage group. Evelyn desperately wants to escape from a life of monotony, frustrations and hard work for her father and for her brothers and the opportunities provided by her lover Frank. They decide to escape and go to live in Buenos Aires where they will get married. But at the moment of going on board the ship, Evelyn feels distressed. All the seas of the world tumbled about her heart. He was drowning her into them. He wouldn't drown her. The sea, so it becomes a symbol, is no more a means of escape, but it represents death. The language of the final lines is very impressive because the girl is described as if she was a person really struck by paralysis. She appears passive, like a helpless animal. These are the last lines of uh, the short story. She set her white face to him, passive, like a helpless animal. Her eyes gave him no sign of love or farewell or recognition. Two images are particularly relevant in James Joyce's short story, the dust and the sea. Dust is a, an important feature of the room where Evelyn is sitting. She smells dust in the window curtains and the atmosphere of the room is full of objects like the yellowing photographs and the broken harmonium such as seclusion, decay and melancholy. The sea as well has a double association. First, in Frank's tale, it means uh, exciting adventures, it means uh, freedom, the possibilities to, to see new places uh, and the means of escape with Frank to start a new life in Buenos Aires. But suddenly, when she's on the point of leaving Dublin, the sea appears a symbol of death. Evelyn will never be able to escape.